All right, hi again. This is a quick um, demonstration of some new features in the uh, Duplicates Frame tool. Uh, this is a tool that lets you delete uh, duplicate frames or drop frames, or not only delete them, but uh, you can attempt to repair them using motion prediction, which will uh, sort of extrapolate or in interpolate a frame using sort of morphing and some other uh, techniques. Um, but what I wanted to show here is um, in the case that you don't have uh, an exact duplicate frame, uh, say a video has been compressed and the duplicate frames have been slightly changed by the compression, um, the program won't be able to necessarily f uh, determine if that is a, a duplicate frame or not because it doesn't know if something is just stationary or if it's um, actually a drop frame. So th the best tool here is your brain and your eyes. So what we've added was a, um, a, a small histogram, or actually it's more of a graph of um, the changes per frame. And what this does is just lets you visually see where the drop frames are um, and use your brain to determine if these are drop frames or if they're actually uh, stationary frames that are supposed to be that way. And basically, if you look at the graph, you can see pretty clearly that we have at the beginning of our video four frames that are dropped. They are exactly zero. And then at the end of the video, you can see some frames that are um, there's definitely a dip there. You'd have to go to those frames and look and see if um, those are actually drop frames or if they're uh, uh, supposed to look like that. But since we already know those are actually drop frames, um, all we have to do is... Um, had this been zero and we scanned it, you see it would say we found four frames. Um, but we want to include these frames here too. So all we do is click here and move this little bar. Um, so we put it right there and rescan. And voila, those, uh, those couple of frames. And now it says six frames. And if we move it up there, we get uh, seven drop frames. So we've actually one, two, three, four, five, six, seven drop frames. If we move it up here, we'd probably get quite a few. Um, if this were drop frame and these dips here were not drop frames, uh, what you'd probably have to do is put it there and then manually go in and change those. But, um, as you can see, that is a new tool that lets you visually, uh, edit and, and see using your, your eyes and your brain, um, very quickly, which frames are dropped, which are, are supposed to be, um, not dropped, but they're just frames where um, basically there's no motion happening so uh, just one more tool to uh, help manage uh, repairing video that's been damaged by um, low bandwidth in a camera for example that could not uh, capture uh, sufficiently capture motion or uh, video that's been recompressed um, to the wrong uh, frame rate where there are duplicate frames and that kind of thing so Hope this has been enlightening. Uh, thanks for watching and ta-ta for now.